Alright, is it a best of what? Five. Best of five? And here we go. Money match. Round one beginning between Bong Chu Link and Ninetales. Ninetales have previously acclaimed for his fantastic shielding throughout. He often lands those just in time to be clutch. I uh, joined again on the caster desk by Shy. Shy, yes. yes. I'm gonna this. Really good. He's the guy that's been sending singles to me, keeping me straight, making sure I don't mess up. Very really appreciative. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, you don't know the terminology like you probably know for lol. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Already 60% on both parts, but the, both stocks are remaining. Now, wh what, is, what is so significant about a Peach Peach match? I, I really don't know. They just... I think they both uh, play Peach a certain amount and wanted to see just who the better one is. Yeah, I think okay. so in this one. So Basically, think... just grudge match on Peach. Yep. So That's stuck. Shy, do you play Peach? No. You don't play Peach? No. You play against Peach? Yeah. Yes. Do you play well against Peach? Uh, uh, Luigi, I don't, like, I don't know the matchup really well, so Okay. No. I know. Well, you're not helping me at all here, mate. I don't know. <laughs> I just know her fair, I just know she has takes a lot of floating skill and her fair is uh, really strong. Oh, oh, to hop in? It's actually no Peach. Yes! Oh, no, no Peach at all. And stock number one for both of them is used up. Right. Only thing I know about Peach is Bomb Chu tends to uh, tan my hide when he plays it. <laughs> All right, hello everyone, this is Jaxus. Uh, Peach is a very interesting character. She has her own unique mechanic that lets her just float in place uh, horizontally, and you can do an attack in that, and then as soon as the attack is over, let go of float, and it lets you just do them really close to the ground while still moving. Uh, that's been kind of her whole thing for the past couple games, but Peach is actually really good in this game. Her fair is both a kill move and safe on shield. Uh, as you saw right there, there wasn't quite space correctly to be actually safe. <laughs> um, she has decent movement speed when you combine uh, just her dash with an attack called Quick Float Release. You run, and then you float, and then you immediately drop the float, but you get momentum from it. And then you, as soon as you land, you do another short hop float just across the stage. Let's you weave in and out with it really well. Um, which is actually, for once, a combo-based character. She has a lot of combo starters and some seriously crazy uh, setups and combos with the float. Down tilt is one that I'm expecting to see quite a bit of because it has decent disjoint, and while it is attackable, I don't know why Nintendo's just kind of on like that, <laughs> uh, it sets up for some huge combos. So if people wondering, what kind of champion or characters would you recommend for a counterplay to, to, to Peach? Uh, to Peach, her weakness is being walled out by, like, giant hitbox aerials. <laughs> so people like Diddy, he has a huge disjoint on the front of his feet on Sword Whoa! and an auto cancels. Uh, in the previous game, Sword oh, Skizzers, yeah. Marth, Pike, people like them. Because she's fairly good at dating out things as a way to approach. But she has no way to like force herself in past range. Now, now obviously we got um, Nine Tails winning that first match. Now, since I've got you here, yes, I want to talk about that match between um, G-Man and yourself. Okay. So it looked like Diddy Kong was giving you a lot of trouble. So what did you change up to kind of overcome that? Because it looked really convincing. Ah, uh, I don't know. Honestly, Diddy, I've had a lot of trouble with since pre-patch just because it's. Three patches, he did like, he killed at 70 with his up air, the spray three, things like that. And he's still a really good character, and G-Man's also really good at baiting and punishing. I think at this time, I just got the edge on reads, really. Uh, he had a couple Apple suits falling into, like, just short hopping right in front of me, to out approaches that worked for a while, and then I eventually caught on. Something just happened to the stream, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, uh, the connector that actually plugs into the screen is on its, not really on its way out, but if it gets bumped wrong, then bad things happen. That was one such time. Hey, at least it didn't happen during the finals, right? Yeah. So it seems like both players are content to just kind of pause and continue from that point. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, you know, i got to say, although Ninetales won the first game, it's, it, it wasn't necessarily a convincing win. Oh, uh, it convinced. was very close. 
this, and it's continuing to be that way so far. As when I said that, there was one percent difference. Yeah, so we're just. And I would, also we were seeing that other team, uh, you and and Robert, Robert, Yeah, that is so close. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and you can definitely tell uh, that these two have very different play styles. Oh, the fair trading with the dare will not quite uh, KO. By the way, I did forget one more thing about Peach. The down air, you can do it while moving horizontally, uh, while floating, which is part of what makes it really good. But down air also it racks damage pretty well because it's a multi-hit move. And then if you uh, release it just in time, it actually combos into a decent number of other moves. She also has a extremely difficult uh, uh, forward wow, splash. Oh, big. and blow for blow. It's just it back and forth. Way through. You know? uh, she actually has a almost impossible to pull off, like repeatedly frame perfect turnip block, where if you hit someone with a turnip and then foot scroll them, just jump off their back while they're in hit stun or in the air or whatever, uh, you can then re catch the turnip. Land, jump up, throw the turn up down, and just keep footstooling off of them indefinitely, and then finish it with the forward smash. It's incredibly difficult, though. And obviously, every character has their own kind of broken <laughs> mechanics. Uh, actually, for the most part, Smash 4 has been good about not having those. Uh, Peach, Pikachu, and a couple characters with footstool stuff, and even that's super rare, are the only notable ones I can think of. Oh, and Fox is Jab 2 combos into Jab 1. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I could see the face you just made then. <laughs> Honestly, Bob Chuli finally getting. I think he must have had a few bad trades in there because he's, he's falling behind a little bit. Definitely. How okay, and Nine Tails will take that game as well. Um, another part of the thing that makes Long behind not white. As bad as it could be, for some characters, worse for others, like Sheik, is there's a pretty controversial mechanic in this game called Rage. Basically, as you your percent increases up to around 150, I think is where it caps, uh, the knockback on your moves actually grows slightly stronger. This affects moves with high base knockback, or so things like throws, where at 0% it'll send them quite a ways, as opposed to things with super high knockback growth, so the higher percent they are, the farther they go. Okay. Um, so things like Ness's back throw get way better with it. Uh, Peach's forward air is another move with a pretty solid base knockback. And while it does hurt her combos, much like she uh, CSS to an extent and a couple others, it does mean that her kill moves, both fair, dash attack, um, and the assortment of other ones, kill slightly earlier. It's not massive, it's probably like things kill 10% earlier if you're at 100, but it's definitely better. And for such a close match like this, I really expect to see that come up. Right. Uh, absolutely, when, when you're very close, every little bit counts, even down to the, you know, 10 percent so definitely. It's... I think it's really nice, and that's, it kind of shows you how how much they have to balance this. Yeah, and that, that was a nice, he read the side B, coming back to the stage, and got it with the forward smash. He almost killed, just barely didn't. But really getting up there now, 130 for, for Bob yeah. They seem to be trading, uh, not just hits, but who goes off stage, and just, as you're coming back, they send the other one flying off. Yeah. Uh, at this time, though, it definitely looks like Ninetales has a pretty sizable lead just because he's not actually at, like, one hit kill percent right now. I, I would say it's, it's especially obviously in any near, near matchup, as we were talking about earlier, it's just, it's really about consistency. Definitely. You know, if you can consistently land your combo and you know, I think that's really, it's, they both know their combo. They both know oh, yeah. what they're supposed to be doing, it's just, I think it's just Ninetales. actually, yeah, completely mind games. Yeah. Uh, and at this point in the game's lifespan, we are still at a point where it's definitely possible for one character to know like a setup or something that the other don't or doesn't just because they found it themselves. The game's only been around for a couple months and stuff like that keeps showing up years and years later. Absolutely. Which is something I really like is, as far as um, you know, esports go in general. Smash being fairly new like this, but it already has a really good following because it's such a solid platform. Yeah, and there's not really, really anything that kind of mimics the way it works, you know. Um, oh. 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 
That's so oh, that was sad. That is a oh, and that was for the match too. That was, you know, you make mistakes, but it, it really, it's really a uh, something when you make a mistake that's so high stake. Yeah. Alright, well, let's see. Uh, do we have any other money matches that people want to do on stream? Yeah. 